and um England is like um it's the it's the closest to the sun, I think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going today? It's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're talking about this lady again, our third life. We all know and love her. I've talked about her multiple times here on the Poncho channel. So I found another video on her channel that is just as bad as the rest, thankfully. Um, And yeah, you, you see this title. I'm sure for those who do know who this is, you will agree with me when I say that this is probably the dumbest person on earth. But if you aren't familiar with who this is, oh boy, just strap on get ready for this roller coaster ride okay this is great but before i do go into this video a short message from our sponsor this video is sponsored by Manscaped. You heard me. This video is sponsored by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. You want to know why I love Manscaped? It's because they offer the best tools and the best solutions for the three big odor zones. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about your body, your butt, and your balls. <laughs> your balls are kind of stanky. They actually just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0, which is a waterproof electric trimmer. And now you can get the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new Performance package 4.0 bundle. Look at this. this. This thing's big as fuck. They literally stock you up. <laughs> it's pretty much an all-in-one kit to perfect your grooming experience. Now, to start, I do my grooming in the shower with my lawnmower 4.0. Look at this bad boy. It's even got a light. <laughs> this thing's even got wireless charging. <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever heard of a razor that has wireless charging. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's right here. This is the wireless charging dock. It looks kind of cool. It's like a... I don't know. It looks cool. I like it. After your shower, make sure to apply that ball deodorant that they have provided. And for that midday refresher, you're always going to have that Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Trust me, boys, you're probably laughing because I'm saying a whole bunch of funny words right now. But your balls are going to thank you. Go to Manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use the promo code Poncho at checkout. Your balls and body will thank you. Manscaped, thanks for sponsoring this video. I appreciate it. Hey everyone, so I was chatting on AM, AIM with this guy, supposedly he was from England, and I speak fluent American. Okay, just starting off here, I want to pause this just to inform this girl that uh, American is actually not a language. Hate to break it to you, you were uh, kind of off on that one. I feel like I'm just stating the obvious here, but like, come on, dude. You're speaking American? Really? That's like saying my racial background is sign language, dude. It just doesn't make sense, right? Come on, let's do better. So there's a bit of a language barrier? Um, no, no, there, there there, shouldn't be a language barrier when you're talking to a British person and you're an American. You know, you both speak English, I would assume at least. Actually, no, wait, I, I just caught on chat. Uh, she actually speaks American. Uh, I, I, I forgot about that. I guess, yeah, there is a, a, a little bit of a language barrier there. I genuinely can't tell if this is satire or not. It should be satire. I, I can't see this being real, but <laughs> if it is, dude, oh boy. Somebody didn't pass, what, like third grade? But he knew really good English. Ow, stop biting my toe. So, um, I was talking to him about, like, this game I wanted. Because I was hoping he'd buy it for me. Is this how some women roam around on the internet? They just expect dudes to buy games for them? Honestly, I where do I sign up to be a woman? Yeah, so I was just playing Minecraft and found this guy and kind of asked him to buy me GTA 5. Actually, a new PC as well, and he ended up buying it. I wouldn't even be surprised to, dude. I, with how many beta male simps are on the internet, dude, like, there's got to be a way you can just beg for some dude to buy you a game, man. I bet. And he, it was the Sims 3 Generations, and I really wanted that expansion pack for my Sims game. And he said supposedly he wanted it too. And um, I'm like, well, why don't you get it? This girl's brain is probably working in overdrive right now, dude. She is struggling to get a sentence out. Come on. Her making this video and explaining the situation is probably the hardest her brain has had to work in years. And he's like, because it's too much. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there was a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. <sighs> You know, I don't even know why I decided to watch this. Just pissing me off by this point. I don't know if any of you guys can agree with me on that. It's just making me mad, dude. Bro, pounds is a form of currency in the UK. I, I'm stating the obvious here. I, I probably sound stupid myself stating the obvious. But dude, like, come on. Pounds, are, the, the guy doesn't mean pounds as in weight. And even if he did, how does that make it a language barrier? Like, I'm just so lost, okay, chat? I'm lost. 
So, bit of a language barrier. We went over the jump. No, we didn't. We did not go over that. Please explain how that is a language barrier. I am just confused. I, what? But the thing I'm wondering is... Why does it weigh so much? Yeah, really couldn't tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why it weighs so much, dude. Uh, it's almost like he meant currency and uh, not weight. Fuck, dude. Fuck. That's what's confusing to me. Like, does it have to do with where England is located? No, it has absolutely nothing to do where England... Dude, what? when I say this is the dumbest person in the entire universe, I mean it. I'm not lying when I say that, okay? Dude, how can somebody be this, this dumb? I I'm sorry, but like, how? I might be being too harsh right now, but at the same time, not really, okay? Who is this uneducated? <laughs> There's probably five-year-olds smarter than her. Like, is it because it's like, I don't even know. Because like, maybe it's like, Really close to Jupiter? Yeah, so I thought she hit the max level of stupid, but uh, she just now reached it. Cause like, maybe it's like, really close to Jupiter? Hey, lesson for all my subscribers watching. So England is actually right by Jupiter. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of that. Uh, it is in fact in the solar system. England is a very cool planet. I go to pretty often, you know, a uh, great planet. So, like, if you know the solar system, America is, like, in the middle, and, um, England is, like, um, it's the, f it's the closest to the sun, I think. Um, so maybe there's a possibility that, um, there's a difference in, like, gravity or something. So, like, 15 pounds is actually really light in England. It's just... So confusing. I'm not good with planets, but um, I think that might be it. Yes, I think that might be it too. I think the lesson that we can learn from this video is to um not be this dumb. Okay, chat. All right, we we just can't let ourselves become this dumb because if you do. Well, I'll roast you, I guess. Anyways, chat, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. That's going to be the end of the video. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, then feel free to subscribe. I'm not here to force you, though. And yeah, fellas, with that being said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you guys are staying safe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you in tomorrow's upload. Peace out.